Speed and Agility Training. You came to the right place. Got a question? Coming up. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski, former 11-year pro and world champion QB. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, ring that bell. That way you get notified every time I have new content coming out. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to learn about speed and agility training. And leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. Today's topic comes from a question from C. James. Good evening, Coach Pulaski. My son is entering his junior year in high school, and because the county suspended all high school sports activities, which is a shame, by the way, he can't work out with his team. His QB coach wants to film him in a pro day format to show college recruiters his progress in the event there are no games and no film. Do you plan on doing a video on pro days? It would be a big help for mental preparation. Well, see, here it is. This is the film on prepping for pro day, and you nailed it at the end. Mental preparation is the absolute key. And I'm going to go one better for you. I'm going to do my video right now and talk to you about my experiences at the NFL Combine. But our human performance director, Ethan Banning, has also agreed to give you a video on prepping for a pro timing day. And that's going to be great because he has prepped some fantastic athletes that have set records at pro timing day and, and pro scout day. So you're going to have a really good one from Coach Banning. But let's get into my NFL Combine experience. 92, coming out of college. I've talked about this a bunch before. And I was getting ready to go to the NFL Combine back in Indiana. There are several tests that you run back there. And quarterbacks test a little different than offensive linemen, test a little different than receivers, right? So everybody by position group has separate tests that they run. But for quarterbacks, we ran, we ran the standing broad jump, the vertical jump. We did a flexibility test. We did short shuttle. We did the M drill. We did a bunch of dropbacks. And we ran the 40-yard dash. And so... Those were the main physical tests that we ran as quarterbacks, that they wanted to quantify our physical abilities with those. When you think about a pro timing day or a combine, you're thinking about a job interview, really. And so anybody at home that's gone in for a job interview, whether it was my first job interview trying to get a job as a pizza delivery guy or my NFL combine, you get nervous. You start to get a little anxiety, and some of that comes up. There's a way around that. And as a quarterback, as a player, as an athlete, you should be used to it because it's like prepping for a game. The thing about going to pro timing day is that you want to be completely ready. What does that mean? Well, as a quarterback, when you're getting ready for a game, you study film so you know exactly what the opponent does. You know their coverages. You know their schemes. If they have any tells, you know their tells. You know, any inconsistencies or any tendency breakers that they use on film, and you know, any giveaways, a corner playing inside leverage or somebody peeking back at the ball. You know, when somebody wants to cheat, there was a guy in the arena leg named Barry Wagner, who was one of the greatest players ever. He used to love to cheat. I knew that about him and I used it against him. You know, those things by studying film. So, study what you're going to be doing for pro timing day. Study the drills, study what you're going to be running. Number two, you practice. You take the reps. As a quarterback, you are taking drops. Now, I'm armed with the knowledge of what this team is going to do, and so I go and I take the reps. I drop back and take a look versus man, versus zone, running every route that we're going to run. I get every look that could be something new for me that I have to see on the field. I take all the reps I can, and I practice, 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 practice. Plus, on top of practicing for that specific team, or in this case, pro timing day, I'm also practicing fundamentals because fundamentals are what get you there. It's 80% of the battle in terms of being accurate for a quarterback. And so fundamentals every day and then practicing specifics for the team that you're going to play. Take the reps, right? So now we get the mental training in watching film. We've got the reps as a quarterback. And then learning how to handle each situation individually. Standing broad jumps. You got to take the reps. Standing broad jumps. What are my cheats? What are my tells? What are my physical skills that I can utilize to best take advantage of a standing broad jump? The vertical, same thing. How deep do I go? Find my happy place. Find that sweet spot where my athletic prowess is at its best to show for that drill. 
flexibility. I was always super flexible. And so when I went back to NFL combines, I had the longest reach of any quarterback back there. I was like plus 17 and a half on my reach. And it was just a sitting hamstring reach. But I had my face, chest, everything down to my quads. And I was way past my toes. And so that was obviously a great drill for me. I knew that was going to be a big one. It was just flexibility, though. Um, short shuttle. Run it a bunch. Know how to get into and out of those breaks. That's a huge one. Knowing how to get in and out of breaks, make the turn, make the speed. And this is where Coach Banning is really going to help you out. Is big for an athlete. And then 40-yard dash. That's the big one, right? Every sport that I know, field and court sport, measure speed with the 40-yard dash. I just did a video. I'm so proud. We just launched the Faster 40 in 40 Days program. Dan O'Brien, three-time world record holder, three-time world champion, Olympic gold medalist, has put together the greatest speed training system for young athletes ever. And so you can take it with you wherever you go. You want to get prepared for the 40. That's the way to do it. Get the faster 40 in 40 days. Get faster. Kill your 40. Knock it out. So that's how you do it. You get prepped for it. You see it. You understand it. You learn it. You rep it. You train it. And get your body in shape. And that comes with everything. It's just like you're prepping for a game. Think about when you're going into a game. If you're going into a football game, and you feel like, oh, I don't know what they're doing, and I'm nervous, and I'm, we haven't repped that play, and boy, your anxiety and your stress is up, and you don't feel good about it, and you feel really uncomfortable. And so you're probably not going to perform very well, especially when you're getting hit with unexpected things. Well, it's the same thing for pro timing day. Do it so many times that you can do it in your sleep. And here is the added bonus from me. I'm going to do an entire video. I'm probably going to do 20 videos over the course of the lifetime of this channel, but I'm going to do a video on visualizations because they are so important to athletes. And we've just brought on a sports psychologist to add to our coaching staff here um, that is doing some great stuff with sports psychology and visualizations. But I'm going to do a video about it. Visualize yourself doing these reps. You can only get so many physical reps before you get tired, before you get overtrained. But you can do visualization reps too. See yourself performing and performing at a high level. Your body doesn't know the difference, a little bit, but doesn't know the difference between a mental rep and a physical rep. And you can take the mental reps with visualizations as well. And I'll talk about that one when I do my visualization video. But do all of that together. It's all about mental preparation. If you want to perform well, pro timing day, any type of pro day, perform well. And then for quarterbacks, of course, the big one at pro day is going out and throwing. And so have your five-step drop, have your five-step timing drop, have your five-step hitch drop, or what they've renamed now, rhythm drops, rhythm reset drops, all of that stuff, okay? Have all of those, your bag of tricks ready to go. Three-step, two-step, one-step, quick three, catch and throw. Have all of those throws ready. Plus, you want to have your hot throws and some oh shit throws too. And so be able to show that you can hit all of those. You need to show reactive accuracy. You need to show pure accuracy. Number one thing that coaches are looking for in a quarterback is accuracy. And then finally, I would tell you this. Any college scout, the first time they see film on a kid, they'll say, looks great. How are his grades? First question out of their mouth, how are his grades? Because they're not going to waste time on you if your grades aren't good enough. Get your grades up. Be acceptable to college scouts. That's a baseline. If you don't start there, it doesn't matter. You can't go anywhere because you can't get into schools. So grades, grades, grades. First thing, and it's just like everything else, being prepped, being ready for when the moment comes. Do all those things, and you will be ready for pro day. And you will feel comfortable about it. And when you feel comfortable, you can perform at your best. Remember your best you never go 100%. We're shooting for like 95% because we're going to be quick, but don't hurry. And remember that smooth is fast. And all those things will come together for you. Don't tighten up. Just let it go. Appreciate you watching. We're going to be giving you all kinds of tips, training tips, quarterback training tips, uh, human performance tips, more coaching stuff coming out from all of our coaches. We want to help young athletes across the country. That's the point. And we want you to get better. I will leave the link to our Faster 40 program down below. If you want to get faster, sign up, do it. Do yourself a favor. You're going to love it. Appreciate you watching today. Wanted to bring you that quarterback training on speed and agility. Talk to you again soon.